So let me first uh, show you how you can connect your BTC Pay to your wallet by using a Ledger wallet. If you do not have Ledger wallet, that's perfectly fine. I will show you in a second how you can connect manually. But with Ledger Nano S, uh, it's a little bit easier. So go to Stores, Settings, and make sure that your Ledger is plugged in and that you enter the Bitcoin Wallet app on your Ledger. So when you're in store settings, uh, scroll to the bottom and find derivation scheme. Find BTC or Bitcoin and click modify. Now BTC Pay will automatically detect my wallet. And now Ledger is detected and uh, asked me which account do I want to use. So I'll just select uh, first one, account zero. And you see that now automatically Ledger implemented the uh, derivation scheme. So there is nothing else you should do here. Just make sure to click uh, enabled and then continue. Now you need to check if the first address here is the same as the one which will appear in your ledger. So if you're using a ledger app, open your ledger app. I'm using the recent ledger live for this example, though I use Electron wallet for all of my hardware wallet. So Go to your Ledger Live app if you're using it. Go to Receive tab. You need to verify if the first address is like this. Let's see if the first address shown here is the same as the one on our Ledger. As you can see here, the first address and the one here are the same. And just click Confirm. If you do not have Ledger Nano S, do not worry. We can set uh, the XPUB key completely manually and it is very easy. So open up the wallet you're using. In my case, I'm using Electrum and I highly recommend that you use Electrum if you still have not decided which software wallet to use. In Electrum, go to Wallet, Information, and here you can see your master public key. So copy this and return to your BTC Pay server. So go to BTC Pay server, store, settings, Scroll all the way to the bottom and find BTC and click modify. Scroll all the way to the bottom, paste your XPUB key and you'll see now that when you do not have a ledger wallet, you'll see that notification here. So now we're not done. We pasted our derivation scheme, but we need to determine the address type of our wallet. To do that in Electrum, go to Electrum and here you will see that it's this is our wallet uh, type. So address type. So head back here and you see now in the format in which you need to enter the address. So we need to paste our XPUB key dash and then do the format. So we already pasted our key. At the end of your key just enter dash. You need to determine yourself which address type you're using. So I'm using this one and I will copy that one. Copy it here. Let's go. When you're done, click Enabled and then Continue. Once again, you'll be asked to confirm the addresses here, and you need to verify if the addresses presented here are the same uh, are the same as the ones in your wallet. So go to your Wallet tab, Lecture. We'll go to Receive, and now I can compare the addresses here. I will compare this one to the one in my and in my in my BTC Pay and if they are the same we are all good. If they are not you can just use this function here and tell BTC Pay server what is your address and it will try to fetch it. So that's basically it. Do not forget to confirm and you'll see here that derivation scheme for BTC Pay has been modified. And that's everything that you have to do. BTC Pay also has a wallet which you can use now and send the funds from your uh, wallet, from your BTC Pay to some addresses if you want. You can go to Wallet, Manage and then send funds. But I will do that. I will show you how to use BTC Pay and all of its hidden functions in one of my next video series. For now, you have you, all you have to know is that when you receive a payment on BTC Pay server, you will also see it in your wallet like Electrum and you'll be able to manage it from your own wallet here. And uh, no BTC Pay server again has nothing to do with your private keys, so no private keys are uploaded to BTC Pay. I'll see you in the next video, and that's basically how you accept how you connect uh, your wallet to BTC Pay server.